Hello, my name is Michael McDonough and I teach further mathematics here at St Anthony's in Sydney in sixth form. Further mathematics is a really exciting course for those who enjoy mathematics. It takes what you do at GCSE and what you do in your normal A level and it builds on it and goes into the first year of degree level mathematics. It's for those who really enjoy maths and are really enthused by it. It is well thought of by universities, especially for engineering courses, and especially by the big Oxford and Cambridge universities. So what topics would we study? Well, first of all, there are textbooks, and this is the statistics textbook and a pure textbook, but these hardback copies are also available electronically to students, and we would use these books to support our learning across three areas. The first unit of study is further pure mathematics. This starts off by looking at complex numbers which, ha what ha uh, which arise from when, when you get the square roots of negative numbers. And then we'd look at matrices which has applications to uh, computer graphics um, and vectors also computer graphics. The big topic of proof, because uh, proof is very very important in mathematics so we look at how we prove things. And then we would develop in the year 13 work around calculus um, hyperbolic functions, differential equations, um, which build on the material that you have studied at year 12 for maths and in year 12 and year 13 of ordinary A-level mathematics. The second unit um, is a unit on statistics. So again, we will build on what you've done at GCSE around probability and we'll look in particular at things called permutations, arrangements and combinations and you, their applications to to probability theory. Um, we will look at um, regression and correlation. Now regression and correlation, you have met a little bit of reg regression, is often called lines of best fit GCSE, and we'll look at the mathematics around that. And then we'll look at probability distributions, things such as binomial, Poisson distributions, normal distributions. And then finally, hypothesis tests, where we take data and we test to see how, what it shows us about the situation that we're modeling. The final unit we study is uh, additional further pure. Now additional further pure just builds on some of the things you've done with vectors or, already and some of the things we've done with calculus, but it also goes back to GCSE with sequences and series and looking at finding formulas for sequences and series and for recurrence relationships. Um, finally, we look at modular arithmetic and we go into depth on that and how it can be used for the field of group theory, which is an important field of mathematics. Now, a lot of the names I've given you there won't make much sense at this time, but there are names of things that you might want to look up at as a matter of interest so you can see what you would be studying. The entry requirements for this course is a six in mathematics at GCSE, uh, although, because of some of the material that you will encounter, particularly in year 13, we do recommend a 7 preferably, but we will take you with a 6 if that's what you have, as long as you've got a good worth ethic and a love of mathematics, because doing further maths means you'll be doing 5 hours further maths a week, as, long as, as well as 5 hours mathematics, that's 10 hours of mathematics within the week in school, so you must love maths if you're going to take further maths. If you have any queries about the course, please do ask your own classroom teachers. I'm sure they'll have information. And if they don't have it, please contact me and I'll be happy to give you any extra information you require.